She is known for her extensive career in television, starring in popular soap operas such as The Edge of Night and As the World Turns. She is recognized for her appearances on primetime shows like Foley Square and Chicago Hope. Her name is Margaret Collin. Margaret Collin, a talented actor known for her versatility and captivating performances, has left an indelible mark on the world of television and film. Her journey in the entertainment industry began with a bang as she starred in the soap opera The Edge of Night, portraying a resilient heiress who faced numerous murder attempts and even ended up marrying her stepbrother. This role catapulted her career, leading to a long-standing portrayal of Margot Montgomery in As the World Turns, a character that captivated audiences for nearly three decades. Collin's talent extended beyond the small screen, as she made appearances in several primetime television shows such as Foley Square, Leg Work, and early episodes of Chicago Hope. She showcased her acting prowess in the 1999 series Now and Again, where she played Lisa Wiseman, a mother and bakery owner entangled in a murder investigation. Her ability to bring complex characters to life was evident in her performance in an episode of Law and Order, Special Victims Unit titled Tortured, where she portrayed a mother caught up in a criminal conspiracy. In addition to her television work, Colin has also graced the silver screen with her presence, starring in notable films like Something Wild, Three Men and a Baby, and Unfaithful. Her range as an actor was further demonstrated in her portrayal of Jacqueline Kennedy in the play Jackie, An American Life. Colin's dedication to her craft was evident when she performed in the Broadway play A Day in the Death of Joe Egg, where she famously smoked on stage in defiance of the state smoking ban. Margaret Collin, a talented and versatile actor, had her fair share of personal ups and downs throughout her life. One of the highlights was her love story with actor Justin Diaz, whom she met while working together on the popular soap opera As the World Turns. Their on-screen chemistry translated into a real-life romance, and they tied the knot in January 1988. Together, Margaret and Justin built a beautiful family, with two sons named Sam and Joe. But their love didn't stop there. Margaret also became a loving stepmother to Justin's daughter from his previous marriage, embracing the role with open arms. The family settled in Upper Montclair, New Jersey, in the late 1990s, creating a warm and nurturing home for their children. While Margaret found success in her acting career, she also found a cause close to her heart. She became an anti-abortion activist, passionately advocating for the rights of the unborn. As an honorary co-chair of the organization Feminists for Life, she stood firm in her belief that every life deserves a chance, opposing the practice of abortion. Margaret's dedication to this cause stemmed from her deep conviction that all life is sacred and should be protected. In addition to her involvement with Feminists for Life, Margaret also served as an honorary board member of Feminists for Nonviolent Choices. This group aimed to empower women by providing alternatives to abortion, focusing on nonviolent approaches and supporting women through difficult decisions. Margaret's support for this organization showcased her commitment to promoting a compassionate and understanding environment for women facing challenging circumstances. Throughout her personal journey, Margaret Collin exemplified the true essence of a multidimensional individual. From her blossoming love story with Justin Diaz to her unwavering dedication to anti-abortion activism, Margaret's life was a tapestry of love, family, and a deep-rooted belief in the sanctity of life. Her commitment to both her personal and public endeavors made her a remarkable figure, leaving a lasting impact on those around her. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.